Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. A couple of weeks ago, we told you about a Coeur d'Alene man who was bitten by his neighbor's pit bull. It's a Thai bull. Nice dog. Bow. Well, that story prompted quite a discussion about pit bulls on our website and Facebook page. So, KXOI 4's Aaron Luna decided to take a look at what breed is biting in Spokane and why. It's true, pit bulls do have a reputation for being very fierce, but keep in mind, all dogs bite. It's just that some breeds are bred to bite less, and pit bulls do make very good family pets. Come here, boy. Good job. When I had a frisbee, you used to be able to jump too, but... When Ryan Draper found Dozer running for the freeway, he didn't plan on keeping the young pit bull. As you can tell, Dozer's a sweetheart, so I just, I had to keep him. But 10 years and thousands of games of fetch later... Playing fetch, he's, uh, he's a hardcore advocate of that. <laughs> Dozer is an irreplaceable part of Draper's life. A part that Draper knows comes with a stereotype. I try not to, you know, in, invade anybody's space and keep them on leash. And the American Kennel Club doesn't recognize a pit bull as a specific breed, but a classification of bully breeds originally used for taking down livestock and fighting. They've since been adopted by some for their reputation. History has shown that the public tends to generalize a specific breed with aggression. Years ago, it used to be the Doberman, it used to be the Rottweiler, it used to be the German Shepherd. Right now, it's the Pitbull. Nicole Montana with Scrap says every breed bites, none more than others. Right now, um, we have investigated more bites by Labrador Retrievers. However, according to the Spokane Regional Health District, since 2012 there have been 249 dog bites that broke the skin, pit bulls accounting for the vast majority. While only making up 3% of licensed dogs, they were responsible for 25% of the bites. Shepherd mixes for 11 and lab mixes for 7%. Stay. Dog trainer Marilyn Keach says dogs usually bite out of fear if not socialized when young. Yes, all right, good job. So some of those dogs may be wonderful at home, but in the wrong situation, without the proper training, incidents can happen. Because of the strength of their bites and reputation, it's possible pit bull bites get reported more often than other dogs. Something Draper says is causing some to miss out on a great companion. I think it's sad and, uh, for the dog. And any breeder will tell you that it's important to research the breed and the type of dog you want to have, especially live in an apartment or a small confined area, you might want to consider getting a different type depending on your surroundings. Reporting in Spokane, Aaron Luna, KXOY 4 News.